everybody, Bill Nichols here. Today I want to show you how to get nice smooth shots, whether it's elevation, tracking, moving back and forward, so accelerating, decelerating, or panning with your uh, Phantom 4. There's a couple of things that you can do. One, I'm going to show you a physical trick on your controller really quick. Then I'm going to show you some settings changes in the Expo settings of the DJI GO app and how that affects the speed at which it's going to go up and down. So it's going to gain or lose elevation. It's going to move forward and back or it's going to track side to side or it's going to rotate. So let's run through those settings. But first, I want to show you a physical trick on the controller that you do. So if you see right here, you've got your sticks, right? Let's get this to focus. So you've got your sticks right here and these little knobs. We can actually go in here with these knobs and make them longer. So we're just going to do that really quick. So you can see I'm rotating this out and you can see how I'm making the knob longer. And then this little bottom part, I'm just going to bring up. And I'm going to tighten these together. And same thing on the other side, right? So, so you've got this, this stick here and as you move it, it's moving the controller down here. Now, the shorter it is, the less input it takes to move across. The longer it is, if it was out here, you'd have to move it in this big arc to get the same amount of input as if it was down here, you just have to go here. So as we extend it a little bit, it means that we need a slightly longer arc to get that same input. So an input right and left doesn't go as quickly as, uh, as it would if it was shorter. The one thing you want to make sure of here is that you can still reach because if you're operating down here, this isn't going to help you. You want to be operating from the top. So you want to make them as long as you can reach comfortably and still keep good control. That's a good little physical hack on how you can um, extend these, make them a little bit longer so that you have a longer stick to reach from and you get that greater range of motion. So that's one little quick one. Now we're going to go into the settings of the app, into the Expo settings. I'm going to show you what the defaults are. I'm going to show you how I change them and what it means and how you can make them more aggressive or less aggressive. We'll take off and do some shots with each. So to get started, go up here and click on your menu. You want to go to the Phantom here, so up on the upper left. Now you'll see here where it says EXP sensitivity and gain. We're going to mess around with EXP today. Gain is basically how quick it reacts. And then EXP is really how it's going to react to stick input. So let's go into EXP. You can see here now as I push on the left, as I push up and down on the left stick, you'll see the throttle go up and down and it's going in this linear fashion. When I go left or right, you see rudder right goes linear. And then with forward and right, and then same thing up and down. So let's just start with the throttle. Actually, yeah, let's start with the throttle. So right now it's set to 0.5 and you can see how it's just a straight line going up and down. So it's basically a one-to-one -one input. So as I push up on the stick, right, as I push up on this stick and come back, you see that throttle up and the throttle down go the same. So it's just a one-to-one -one distance basically. So now if I change this, like let's make this, Let's bring it down to about 0.3. You can see now it's this S curve. So as I first push up, it's got to travel along that X axis some before it starts to throttle up. So I get this really kind of smooth, so it's really graduated. So instead of when I first push up, the amount that I push the stick up, it's going along that X while it's slowly going up and then it picks up speed. So it doesn't react right away. As soon as I push it, it doesn't want to jump forward. It has this kind of nice roll into it. And same thing coming down. So you'll see that there. I've got to do a little bit more stick input. So here, let's say that I push the stick halfway up and come down halfway down. Now on the opposite side, let's say that I make that like a 0.6 or a 0.7. Let's go the other way. Immediately when I push the stick just a little bit, like I'm only not even a third of the way up right now, and you see how quickly it decelerates or accelerates. I can't even really trim that at all, so I can't really control it. So just this little tiny bit of movement here, just this little tiny movement, and it's almost halfway there. Where if I go the other way, let's go back down to about 0.3, that same amount of movement, it's hardly even climbed up the x-axis at all. So 0.29, that's too much. I fly with this usually at about 0.35. So I'll back up here, put 3.5, do this nice x-curve, Hit click done. And then rudder right and rudder left. You can do the same thing. And then for forward and right, I will change this the same way to about 0.35. And now what we'll do is we'll take off and do a couple of different shots here. And I'll change each of them so that we can see. You can also change them for sport. Right now I just leave them the same. So let's get out of here. Let's um, start recording this on the Phantom. Let's take off. 
pretty windy day out here at Quail Hill. All right, so the easiest way to demonstrate this, let's get some height. So now we're up. We're in the settings and we've got um, the, left, the, the right and left now are set at 0.31. So what you'll see is, I'm gonna push the stick about halfway to the left and you'll see the phantom slowly moving. Now let's get it going over. Now this is really slow, so this is actually too slow. 0.31. You'll see the phantom slowly move. Makes it nice and smooth. So let's bring it back. Let's make it about 0.37. It's about where I like to be. So now I get a little bit more speed to the left. A little bit more speed to the right. And then as I bring it over, it's going to pick up speed. Slowly bring that down. It goes along that S curve and just slowly slows down nice and smooth. It's pretty windy out here though, so it'll probably have a little bit of effect on it. Same thing going back. Now with the rudder, now as I go forward, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna go along that curve. So the acceleration isn't going to just jump forward. Instead of just jumping forward, it's gonna go nice and smooth out, then nice and smooth back. So we've got that. Now let's look at the rotation. So right now, the throttle... Oh yeah, so I've got rudder right and left set to 1.2. So watch, as I do just a little bit of input, you'll see it's going really fast with just a little bit of input. So you can see how it jumps, jumps through there. I'm only pushing about halfway over on the stick. It's already almost at the full amount. So instead, Let's bring that down to about 0.35. And now I'm still pulled about halfway over. And I just get a nice smooth, so here, we'll just start a little bit. So I can just get a nice smooth pan around. And I've moved the stick quite a bit, but it's not going too fast. So it just gives me more control over this. The same thing with elevation as I go up. I can slowly gain elevation. Now let's go back into those settings. Let's make throttle up and down. Let's set this to whatever the fastest is, 0.8. So let's get out of here. And now as I go to push up for, it just jumps. So here, let's start down at the bottom. Let's get close to the ground. Be able to get an idea of the sense of how quick it's going to gain altitude here. So right now it's really hard for me to make you know, nice smooth elevation adjustments. Right, so here as I push up, like pretty quick. But now if I change that back, let's go in and let's make that, instead of 0.8, let's make it like 0.35. And by the way, you can do this by grabbing that graph and just tweaking it with your finger. Or you can go into the field and you can delete out and type it in. So I've done it both ways on here. So now as I pull up, you'll see that it doesn't take off as quick going up. Coming down, same thing. I've got to pull down more to make it go faster. And now let's go into here one more time. Rudder right is set to 0.35. Let's just change that. So we've got it now at 0.8. So I'll turn. So now just a little bit of input and you can see it's going really fast. So dizzying fast, it's really hard for me to get, even with the longer sticks that I made, it's hard for me to slow it down to something that's not too fast. Now let's go back in. Let's change this down just to about 0.35. So we're at 0.34. Now let's do about the same amount of stick movement you can see how much slower and how much smoother I can get a, uh, a panning shot here. Now I can still go fast. 
right? But, I, but in the beginning, when I first had the stick input, it doesn't move it as fast. So I can really get better control over that. All right, that's the basics of ex Expo settings. I wanted to run through that really quick today, show you what it was about. Somebody had asked me, hey, could I do an explanation on this? And the, nobody else was giving them kind of the time of day to do it. So I had a couple of people ask about this, did a quick video on it. Thanks everybody for watching. Go out there, try these Expo settings. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I'll talk to you soon. Looking to post a video every day next week. And I'm working on a few things as well. So thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.